In its annual report on the state of human rights worldwide, Amnesty International has singled out for criticism a lack of humanitarian leadership on behalf of what it calls a more divided and dangerous Europe. To discuss the report, we're joined by Amnesty International's David Griffiths. Mr Griffiths, thank you for speaking to us. What have the EU and national European governments been doing wrong in the eyes of your organisation? 36 countries across the world we've documented have unlawfully sent back refugees to situations where they could face violence and persecution. And Europe has been at the forefront of undermining the very foundations of asylum and refugee law, uh, pushing back uh, refugees uh, in a year when 5,000 more than ever before drowned in the Mediterranean. Uh, but it's not just, uh, it's not just that. Uh, we've seen Donald Trump's uh, dangerous and divisive electoral rhetoric in the U.S. election campaign uh, being turned into action already in 2017. We've seen uh, President Duterte's so-called war, the, the, uh, war on drugs in the Philippines result in the killing of around 7,000 people. Now, the annual report relates to 2016. Does Amnesty International believe Europe's failings, but also the failings of other areas in the world, are a recent phenomenon, or are they deeper rooted? Well, what we've seen in 2016 has been how this politics of demonization has surged uh, across the world. Of course, it's nothing new, and uh, many, ourselves included, have pointed back to eras such as the 1930s. Uh, we've been here before, and the consequences have been very ugly. And, uh, you know, it's high time that we recognize uh, that this is a dangerous path that we're on. It's dangerously easy to paint a dystopian picture about the future of the world now. And uh, we, we are in danger of reaching a point now where some people are seen as less human than others. Many, many Europeans will argue that years of lax immigration policies have undermined their own rights and fed the threat of terrorism. Are their fears legitimate? Well, we've seen uh, European policy towards refugees, which has callously pushed them away, undermining the very foundation of uh, asylum laws, which were put in place after the, 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 the catastrophic refugee uh, crisis after the Second World War. And, uh, you know, I think it's important uh, for people to recognize that refugees are often victims of the very same threats that leaders in Europe uh, have been uh, using to justify pushing refugees away. They are, they are uh, victims themselves. If we come at this from another perspective and look for positives, where can we find good examples to follow when it comes to defending human rights? Well. Uh, you know, there's been a lot of good news in, in 2016 as well. It's across the world, where leaders are failing, people are standing up. We've seen it on European Mediterranean coasts too, where the generosity of people uh, in pulling refugees into the, out of the water, opening their homes to them, helping them, uh, travelling across Europe to, to volunteer. You know, people don't want these, uh, these repressive uh, policies that governments are putting in place. So, you know, it's important that people stand up uh, and hold their leaders to account, get in the way of the politics of demonization. But it's not always easy. Uh, Mr Griffiths, that's all we have time for, I'm afraid. Um, thank you very much, though, for joining us from London. Thank you. Thank you.